Yeah. So, uh, some shit I forgot. So, this is tutorial two. B bonus B B B B. Bring your own barbecue. And uh, some of the shit I forgot. Let's cover. Uh, this we're gonna be doing this in tutorial three. It's a fucking cool ass puzzle room. Uh, let's not worry about that shit now. Let's go to something a little safer. Uh, the Millennial Fair. Fuck it. Uh, fuck it. And uh, yeah, some shit I forgot to explain. For some fucking reason. I don't know if the fuck I was smoking, but I can't remember. Um, so, we're going to it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Where are you? Okay, so, yeah, these items. Sealed now. Okay, first off, both for, uh, Frog and Chrono can equip it. You know, it's got like a magic plus. I think there, is there a magic plus one? No. Okay, whatever. Magic plus two. Okay, um... Maybe I should almost give it a fire, a shadow resistance. So you're just like, I'm in a hard area. And if you secretly equip those, it's just like a bonus armor thing. And then you just use magic spells. You know, it's cool shit like that. Um, yeah, so we got... Let's modify this a little bit. Uh, frog attack. Okay, so that's the... When it... It's going to use that. I don't. I haven't tested out too many of those. Like, I'm hoping that if you mess around with this, like, maybe there's a way to, like, cast lightning and stuff. It's just a melee crit sound. I don't think it actually does, like, uh, cast a spell. That'd be fucking awesome. Yeah, regular range sound. Those are just the sounds. That's the weapon palette. Of the weapon itself, I don't think... Maybe the graphics are, are one of these palettes or whatever, but... Um, Okay, well, this thing's got to be just, like, abysmally weak. It's not that good of a sword. It should have a high crit, though. Like, like I don't know, what's 25? Let's find out what 25 is. 25. 19. Right, so we're going to go 19 hexadecimal. Status uh, affected. Um, Let's just do... Uh, yeah, twenty five percent weapon damage. It's just, it's just a shit, just a shit show circus of a sword, like just crappy, crappy Mick Weak sauce. And because uh, you, you you wrecked the thing, obviously you blew them up with magic, or like your your weapon just smoldered it into nothingness. So it's pretty much it's just the sigil of barely a sword left over. So we're gonna just we're gonna update that to that, and the files and items, weapons, sigil. Uh, why? Why did I ever type you? Yeah. Seal Mao done. Okay, I'm gonna leave this open. I think. The window, I, some of these layer parent child windows are just, they, 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 the leash is too short, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, this, the cursed play, let's make this fun. Let's make this, um, well, yeah, price one, like nobody wants to buy a cursed sword unless it's a collector. Hmm. But, uh, let's make it, let's make it an enticingly, Powerful power stamina plus ten. Fuck yeah! Woohoo! This thing is oh my god! Uh, and like a, a twenty five attack power and like you know like I don't know what's eighty crit. Let's do an eighty crit. Let's just make it like a beast. For some weird reason, this is just a beastly sword. Okay, so fifty. Yeah, hex of fifty, and uh, it could probably have a spookier gradient maybe to it. Yeah. Um, but, what do we want this shit to do? We want this to just, like, automatically, um, we don't want, we don't 80% chance to confuse, we want, we want this, yeah, nope, not that one, not barrier, we want it to, 
you start to battle confused and chaos and with a high attack power. So it's just like, oh, fuck. It's one of those if you try it out. Like, really, dude? Yes, it's that bad. That badass of a fucking dark weapon. And Yep, that's what we're doing to it. That's what I wanted to explain before. Um... The few items that we're gonna be that that kind of stuff that we're doing, uh, I gotta take a sip of my my liquor. Ah. Woo! Chaga chaga choo choo. Um, uh, let's make something else. Let's do something else. Let's add another new item. Fuck it. Uh, let's work with some of the items I have. Like, I suppose first. All right. I just want to make sure that these don't... These prices... I'm just checking through the prices out of the season. I think... Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so these jewels. Mm. Okay, so we got these different bit flags... That do stuff. Okay. Um, there's a way. There is a way to. Uh, yeah. There's a way to make like a speed or a, like an evade tab and those like those other things. Like I can't remember how to do that yet. Yeah. Yes, I can't remember how to do that yet. Um, the jewels. Let's make those like 250. Let's make it 500 so they're two, and even 250 if you try to sell them. All four of them will be 1F4. Not 1F4. There. And key item. They should carry over. Um, we don't want it usable in the battle or the menu. Um, we want it so if they want to be dumb and sell it, they can. But, yeah. Yeah, it's not. This is negligible because you can't use it. So, one of four can be sold. The one of four key item shadow gem. Shadow gem needs a hem and a ha 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 and copy parts. Compu parts are I don't know, like fifty bucks, just fifty bucks a quarter. Wait, not fifty, fifty, not five. That, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, there we go. Fixed. We fixed it. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what I just said. It's a fifty for a quarter of the parts, but you can't have them all. <laughs> no, it's it's probably cheaper. We don't know. We don't know. Don't ask, don't tell. Neural CPU, that's probably pretty... That's huge, man. That's huge. That's going to be like $3,000. BB-8. A BB. This is bonus bungalow 2. Not, uh, not 8. Artifact. Rare. You very super rare. 2 EEO. 2 EEO. Tio, Tio, okay, yeah, cause um, I don't know why. Like some people, just any NPC will be able to buy that. They're just like, oh yeah, we'll buy it and sell it at a fucking museum. Like, you probably could do like it'd be complex with events, but you could do like an inventory check, like get item has if has artifact store that value, and then if you sell it at that shop, it will just like it'll change the town. Somehow, like, we can do that stuff. That's not hard. That's pretty, hmm, interesting things, you know what I mean? Like, so it's like, yeah. So you have to, like, sell six artifacts to Karas to, like, unlock one of the NPC quests or something like that. Hmm. So I'm, I, I feel it pretty, uh, pretty sort of functional today about this. I'm feeling confident and functional. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Oh God. Item data. Yes. Because those are certain ranges. It's gonna. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is. I think it actually like divides up. I'm not saving these. 
Fuck it. Maybe that's why uh, just th th nobody likes me anymore. Because I don't socialize. I just sit here and make videos. Because I'm making a zillion dollars. Um, like the tabs. If I want to... Uh, yeah, use a tab. Turn an item into a tab. Like, let's take a... Okay, B and 1. We're gonna make... Let's fuck with Jade Leaf. Since I'm making a bonus follow-up video, let's just... We'll fuck with some of this shit, and if it doesn't work, we can always change it back. Um... Because why not? Usable in menu. Uh, but not in battle. We'll just, you can use it in the menu. Like, hold on, I gotta smoke some weed uh, in the battle. Like, if you're fighting, like, you're too stoned to fight. Obviously, it's not gonna work very well. So, we'll just have it usable in the menu. We don't wanna do it in battle. So, whoa, what's that? I don't know. I'm just, fuck it. We're just gonna. We don't know what it is, so we're just gonna guess and just guess and duck and try it out. And fuck it. I'm feeling kind of FF Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Because I'm curious to what the fuck this shit calls tab code. Well, that's a pointer to the tab code with other features. Uh, okay. Oh, status type. Here we go. Negative. Ha ha ha. You. Ha 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 ha. Oh, God. Auto revive. Other unknowns. Mm hmm. I suppose some of these are like the green dream and that shit. Ah, whoa, there's a lot of shit to figure out here. Definitely random healing, huh? Why? I think it has something to do with this. What if I just 3 EC one? But where's it getting this that? Probably. Probably up here. Healing flag revive targets all. So you can like mass revive your party with like something, huh? Huh. Well, Moonshade seems to be pretty fucking rare to find in the game. Um, if you looked at the Watch Tutorial 3 after this, because I'm going to release this before that. And there's some stuff in there that you're going to really like. There's some stuff you're going to love. Status Edition. Status Type. Okay, that's just the same thing. That's the same thing. I'm just fucking around. Since I like had to rectify a couple of things. There's a couple other things I have to rectify, but I can't remember what they are. Like uh like a scrap metal. Like if you could just if we can figure out how to like use that in battle and you just like throw it at an enemy and if it's robot it does like extra damage because it just like <laughs> short circuits the fuck out of them or something. I don't know, like that'd be cool, but mm. Status edition. We're just gonna make that usable in battle. Fuck it. Let's just try. I'm just trying stuff. Negative status. What kind? Blind, confused, HP, drain, lock, poison, sleep, slow. Stop. Just you got blinded by metal scrap in your eye and confused, and it's causing you HP drain, and you can't do anything because you can't see and concentrate, and you're poisoned because it's lead, and uh, you're sleeping because. Uh, the lead poisoning setting in, and it's slowing you down, and then that causes you to stop. Yeah, we can try that. We'll see if that works. Um, yeah, uh, fuck. What else? Um, let's make, uh, let's make a, let's make a armor. Let's make, let's see, I wonder if I could take one of these, because, like, you don't need all this extra, like, there's so many extra fists. Like, like, let's take one of Ayla's extra fists. Okay, first off, we want Diamond Fist, right? Right. That's gotta be a thing. It's gotta be... Diamond Fist has gotta be a thing. But it's not gonna do... Like, see, you can't equip the fists. Like, that upgrades. And you don't want to lose that, like, 9999 tech damage stat. But you want to do something better for yourself than just, like, it has a shitty attack level. Because that sucks. So... Yeah, okay, this is like a clone of that. Let's just like, just make it ridiculous. 54, and uh, I'm just making up numbers, like, critical. Normal damage and attacker dies. So, if you put a really high crit rate, 
You could use the low crit rate, non crit rate to like insta kill. Maybe I should do that for Adam Edge. But then I can't make it always 9999. Never mind. 40% chance of instant death. I like that, but it works on Lavos. I don't like that. Unless I think in the item or web fiend crafter, like you make it so that it's immune to instant death. It might still override that though. So just keep that in mind when you're making your custom items. Um, instant death ignores immunity. Never mind, there's a different category of it. Okay. How about... How about punch drunk? Yeah. Like, just a 60% chance to confuse the fuck out of the enemy. I think that's actually better upgrade than the other fist. Um... I don't know. I think I think this is... You can't sell the thing. And you may as well make it have awesome power. Like, like somehow it's so magical. Like, because uh, Ayla has, like, Ayla does not magic. But she has, like, that Earth Mother connection. So, like, it will give her, like, a guardian bonus of, like, plus 12. And, of course, because uh, in tutorial 4, we're going to be making... A lava dungeon quest for Ayla. And like, so she's gonna have like, she's like, she doesn't have an elemental type, but I would consider her fire in that sense. Even though fire is of intellect, but for, for a Neanderthal, she's pretty fucking bright. Actually, she understands time travel. Like, she knows what you're doing. Somehow, it's weird. That's cool. But yeah, just like absorb like some of the fire damage. Just automatically. Fuck it. We're doing it. Um, I gotta fix this, so we're gonna go into uh, our friend strings to friend number seven. Number six. Um... I want to call it Gaia Punch, but no, that's, uh, Gaia Strike is going to be a, a final tech for Chrono, uh, so we need something, we need something, okay, yeah, Diamond Fist. Diamond Fist. To be Ruby Fist, it would almost make more sense, like, but Diamond Fist, because it just sounds badass. Okay, and that doesn't have a description, because you can't highlight it. So, in the description strings, it doesn't matter. Okay, how about this? So can we make an armor? Like, let's just have something like... Somehow just equipable everybody. Try to make an armor. Because it's not a... But it's a weapon, right? Like, shit, what are we doing, man? What are we doing? Can we do this? Uh, kind of, yeah. Maybe we shouldn't, because appearance and sound, there's not a type. We can't do type yet. So, shit. I, well, I could still make, like, a different kind of weapon out of that. So, let's go to an armor. I wonder if this is armor. No, that's another blank weapon, really. Really? Unfortunately, unfortunately, we don't have very many. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to, like, add something. What's an item that, um, can't do that to that. Dark mail is used a couple times in the game, and we have that as a rare drop. Mist, Mazo mail is cool. But I want to use that, I want to utilize that a little bit more, like, that will be kind of a bit more important-talized, like, because people usually skip that one, but I want to actually keep that as that. Um, I think Flash Mail, though, no, Lumen Road Flash Mail, that's around Magus's Castle, Load Vest, and Eon Suit, Load Vest! Okay, yeah, if I just, like, take out Load Vest, and replace it with Eon Suits in the shops... And wherever else is used. Um, yeah, because I want to make a better one. We're just going to... We're going to... Yeah. Well, he's got... Okay, that's the that's the Kajar shop. Fuck. Um, but Eon Suit's better, ain't it? Let's check. Yeah, 4B47. That's not that much of an improvement, and you get these later anyway. So, like, we just got to change the Kajar shop, and... Um, 
Why? Why does it have, oh. Wait, can we do that with anybody wearing this shit? Ha 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 ha. Let's try it. We'll just try it. Like, I don't want to make this that munchy. Like, that's super fucking munchy. That's like beyond. Just sick. Just sickening. It's sickening. Ocio, do si do. And I keep, the reason why that keeps renaming back is because I keep deleting all this extra shit on my desktop. And it, like, changed the folder. Like, temporal flux thing. So I have to keep doing this. So, um, that. In events, we're gonna, uh, we got those. Oh yeah, we gotta fix a couple items. Um, by fixing, I mean translate them. Fix the translation on those. Uh, lazy, 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 hazy, copy and paste. This is not in no particular order. Oh my god, look how much shit we're sorting. Okay, um, what else? Okay, so I did those couple things. Um, gonna go back to our friend's strings. And, okay, we got diamond fish. Does that actually fit? That looks like it's gonna go off the thing, but. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's one too many. Mm -hmm. I like this. Oops. Not that. Meteor! Meteor Fist. There we go. That'll work better. That looks cooler. Sounds badass. And yeah, kapow! Meow! Kapow! Cat attack! And stuff. Okay, so cool. Um... Yeah, and uh, the other thing that might be fucked up in this is probably Gato. Um, I can't remember uh, the video. Okay, this is the previous later's ver post version. Yeah, so like we got to fix some shit because I think if I remember last, after we added the Adventurer's Tent and then the space for these NPCs, like we added this stuff up here. But I don't think Gato works right. Let's go test that shit out. Um, ah. Ah, okay. This and that. Ugh, that's so loud. Okay. I'm gonna keep the sound on, but I'm gonna just lower it. Yeah. Ha! Oh, are you kidding me? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, hurry up! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Just wait till he walks away. Pretty much. Ah, it's so loud. That's because I turned it down while it was an emulation. I don't know. Uh... There wasn't anything we wanted to test other than... Okay. Okay, cool. Alright, I could have swore there was something... Something glitched with that. But that seems to work. Oh yeah, there was some weird solidity thing, like layering thing, and I couldn't figure it out. 
bat, like, because I had a lot of other shit to fix at the tile layer. So I basically just threw berries there, or bowling balls, or, like, coconuts, or whatever the fuck they are. Cotton candy, it could be them all. I do not know what that just did. Damn it, I should look at my stats first. Speed 14? Uh, okay, I was pretty sure Chronos <laughs> maxes out to Star Star after 13. I don't know what that was either. Oh, fuck, he's got 15 speed now. Shit. And it's not starred. Okay. That's going off the screen. Let's see if this works. Nope. Uh... That really is... That really is cursed. It doesn't do shit. Jack and shit. And Jack definitely left town there. He's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. And that, I'm glad, I'm surprised, I'm surprised Windows didn't just crash the fucker. Also, just to, just to spite it even more. Just to spite it even more. So, let's fix that shit. That's, that won't do. That is too cursed for my taste. Um... Yeah, um, there is one that fucking does something like, Well, that sucks, because I wanted to make this shit fucking... just shitty. And I didn't think it was going to be that shitty. Um... It could be something else. I don't think it's that, though. Yeah. There. It looks it looks kind of decent. Nineteen. Yeah, it looks kind of decent, but there's like literally no crit, and it has a hundred percent chance of doing fifty percent weapon damage. Yeah, that'll work. So it looks beefy, but it's just nothing. It's just fucking whatever. Okay. Well, I better try that out. Just to make sure that I didn't fuck something else up. Ah. Ah. That's still so fucking loud. Oh yeah, haha. -ha. I remember that they have this thing over here that I can do stuff with. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking man, I don't like. I don't know if I like the the rates that that uh that dude's appearing at because it's just too high. Why? This is just I'm so disgusted at myself that I'm just gonna reload the state to that. And I think what it is is this actually. Okay, so now notice he might not be there. Nope, but. Now watch this. This is something I wanted to show you about Super Nintendo Random. Now I walk in the Millennial Fair. He's not there. But the last three times I loaded state, he was there. It's almost like when I come in from the came in from the overworld exit, he had a higher chance of spawning there. Even though it's random, it just it seems to be like that.
Like, I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's exactly that. I'm not saying it's exactly that, but it seems to be at times, so... It's kind of like in Final Fantasy VI, if you've, uh, done a save state, and then you've done, like... The battles are randomly done, but, it, like, they seem to be almost setly random, if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, it's that. Yeah. It could be this. No, I didn't try that out yet. Wait, why didn't I get those other two items? Oh yeah, because I'm trying to equip them. Uh-huh. Now we do battle! Okay. Um... It's so fucking cursed that, uh... For right now, until we figure this shit out more and understand this, nobody's gonna be able to equip that shit. Fuck it. Why would you want to equip a cursed blade? Why would you want to use Magus' sigil as a weapon? Especially Frog. That doesn't make sense. So, uh, yeah, th I'm doing that instead. That's what I'm gonna do. Um... Let's... Fuck. Hmm... Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay, well. Whatever happened to my, like, lemonade stand? Because I had, like, a little girl here. Or she was over here. And then when you randomly cross, like, I had an invisible object. And then when you cross over it, she would randomly be like, Lemonade! Come get some lemonade! And then you, like, try it. It's like 10 gil or something. And then, like, there's a random chance that it's like, it tastes pretty sour. Like, brrr, sound effect. Otherwise, or it tastes pretty good. HP MP restored. Otherwise, only only MP restored. Like, you know, that shit or whatever. You know, it's one of those. I had one of those over there. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe the DEA or the health department came and shut down my lemonade stand. And I can't find it anymore. Fuckers. Okay, so, continuing on. I don't know, I could probably pull that out of a different... I'm gonna pull that out of a different... I might have a different Gatos exhibit. Um, No, because that breaks Gatto. For some reason, that that's what broke Gatto. That's why I blocked that off, actually, for a little while. And I had a guy that you had to talk to, and it would warp you into the Gatto battle, and then it would warp you back out, because it was just that fiendishly, like, weird of a situation that it was hard to fix. Unless I did that... So, we'll add other NPCs later. Um, I want to do something where, like, Gato's actually invisible until you walk across, like, this threshold. But, um, yeah, we'll get into that stuff in late, maybe a later follow-up bonus video. I'm just trying to, like, mm, make some of the stuff a little bit better, fix a couple of things I fixed, and fuck around at the same time, and waste insurmountable amounts of video time. Cause that's awesome. Let's put, let's fix these pots that I have. Um, ah, I right clicked again. Why? Why you? You, you, you. And there. Okay, we got the right treasure chest one, apparently. But if we use this ribbon and open that as a treasure chest, the yellow ribbon, tie a yellow ribbon around an old oak tree. Oh, bugger. Oh, yeah, and then these ribbons actually layer over their sprite priority. If I go in the tile settings, uh, I did something. Yeah, you can see we're like. Oh, I click one of those. Yeah, priority true. So like these will actually like will priority over and that shit. And um, yeah, we got a couple metal barrels. We got a slice of pizza. Where's it pie? It's pie. I'm pretty sure it's pie. Somebody's calling me. I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring you right now. Um, oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to add was... They should just have, like, make blank object and it has, like, a preset, like... Fucking 
the coordinates, that object coordinates. We want it to be 170E21C. What? 7E21C. We can't make it anything. Uh, there's too many NPCs on the screen already. And in fact, we actually have to update some of these. Like, um, we gotta have a couple different people that if you have, like, one of the scavenger hunt items. Because I still gotta fix that. I may as well do that, I guess, in this video. And do the additional cutscene at the end of Magus's battling Magus. It'll announce the winner. Like, if you fucked around and didn't turn to win the scavenger hunt, it'll announce somebody else that, as that. Or whatever. And we got a, we got a cool way of doing that. We got a cool way of doing that. Stay tuned. I hope you're tuned in. Uh, not off in space like I am. Um, but yeah, okay, so activate. We're going to do sprite movement. Control explore mode off. And always an on right after. And then the return in between can become stuff. Um, text. Do text. Let's put a text box in. Three spaces in. There's lots of shiny gill in the fountain. Ah! I don't like finishing a line in the next thing. Unless it's lower down. Yeah, let's do it like that. Line break. Sparkling. In the sun. That's a black omen. That's a, it's sparkling in the sun, of course. But it's also kind of a play on the, it sparkles in the sun like the black omen. You know what I mean? Yeah. It fits in the story. And then what, what will you do? Toss some, toss in one gill. I'm calling it gill. You can call it gold. It's G, whatever. Whatever suits your fancy, or floats your boat, or mans your man in the boat. Um, God damn it. Butt lips. Okay. Okay, page break. Do I want this offset? No. I'll make that a full break. Make that a full break. So it will be right at the edge, and then... What will you do when they come from you? How will you get them out of your head? Never mind. <laughs> That's from me. <laughs> okay, well, you're tossing one gill. Steal gill from the fountain. Bot laps. Just stare off into space. <laughs> Nothing. Could be gazing. St but this, it's a stare. I don't know. Okay, well. Now we got ourselves a motherfucking... Another thing to add a court decision in the trial... Dun, dun, dun. We can do that. Like, toss one gill. Okay, yeah, throwing money in the fountain will get you in trouble. Uh, what I meant to say is stealing gill from the fountain could get you in trouble. That might, uh, that might look bad upon, uh, Chrono's character. Uh, you know, if he's just gonna ninja money, like, out of the fucking, you know, obviously his hand's wet and he's trying to cash it in at the store. <sighs> So, yeah, and I'm just fucking around and just adding. So, okay, we gotta figure out what decisions these are on. So, full break, this is on zero. That's not a decision. You know, so we got one, two, and three. Uh, yeah, one, two, and three. So, check results as our standard. 
And we're not going to box too many of them together because if we do, we have to have carefully inlet go-tos to get out of that shit the right way or it could fuck up shit and then we're screwed and people will just, will, our ratings will collectively crash and plummet into the abyss below. Okay. Just add the text descriptions and then we'll add the stuff later. Okay, so... At result 3 is just going to do nothing. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave a result 3 in case for some reason I want to make it so, like, just stare. Like, it'll automatically make it, like, the characters stop and do their, like, blink blink animation facing down or whatever. I could do that, but we got to keep in mind this is getting close to. This is getting almost past A. When you get that many nodes, it starts to grind to a halt. I think you can go to, like, you can have three F objects total. Uh, but there's a certain amount of stuff you can have in, e in each location. After a while, it's like, if you do it right, you don't need to have that much stuff, and you can have several different versions of a location with different, uh, different, yeah, you know what I mean. So, okay. Quickly. PC0, whoever is the party member. Reaches down into the sparkling waters and grabs a handful of coins. Let's do a null. Let's null that. Okay. Okay, this one's not a decision. Uh, quickly, yeah, fucker. Like, quickly, PC, hmm. Maybe it's one. There's a, yeah, it's PC one, PC zero. There's like a thing that's offset, because programmers count from zero sometimes, and then other times we don't. They and we don't, yes. Uh, it's one of those. Is. Okay, fucking save that shit. Good fucking being a dick. Okay. Decision, yes. That's a mosquito in here. I, I live in Minnesota. This is lake country. Uh, We got fucking mosquitoes, yo. This is like Jumanji, where it's like... And you gotta beat them with a tennis racket. Like, pretty much. It's like that. It's like do or die, pretty much. Uh, Do or die. It can be pretty rough. Okay, reaches and grabs a handful of coins. Yeah, I want this formatted right. Since I'm wasting time on this, oh, it's not. If this is a bonus video. It's not a waste. It's a bonus. Um, inventory, gold, add like three gil. You're getting three. Well, I could do a random number generator, and you get like one to five coins. But either way, it's a bad. It's bad for your karma. I'm gonna actually implement the karma variable. Like, I want to, not in this video, maybe a future bonus. In fact, I gotta write that down in my notes. Um, because it was something I wanted to do. I gotta grab a pen. Oh, from way over there. And, um, yeah. Like, so, but the karma variable has gotta be, like, equivalent to, like, the courtroom trial thing in the first part of the game. So that, like, no matter what you're doing, like, or, or, or it does the, it does the actions you've done, but then other karma still has, like, a slight effect or influence on it, but that can also be your luck rate of, like, during a, a random treasure chest, like, hmm, like, you get, like, a, just a better level of bonus, like, and I'd actually rather have it based on, like, the luck Level of, I don't think they have luck as a stat, but, like, we could add that shit at some point eventually. Um, yeah. Pretty much, pretty much that. So, not a line brack. Grabbed. Not received, because this case is taking, so, um, yeah, we'll just do, th I could do, um, like, variable, like, you store it in a variable and then use that value, whatever, to, like, do that more complicated thing of that. But I don't care to do that. I don't care. 
This is just a basic rudimentary example of stealing money out of a fountain and probably not a good idea, but we're, we're doing it. We're putting it in there. Uh-huh. I need a sound effect. Play sound. Do it on channel 18. Because I don't think there's any loops on or any other sounds playing simultaneously. Um, mm -hmm. It's not received item, but I'm going to select that in case I get lost. Oh, it's in here. Gold received. There we go. 55. And we'll just go to that. And yeah, cha-ching. And don't forget to donate. You don't have to. But that helps me out a lot. It gives me an incentive to never have to work again. So I can keep making these fabulous videos. And and then some. So I got some other tutorial series is, is out or coming out and that stuff. So check. be sure to check that shit out. Um, at some point, I'm going to make an Earthbound Plus, um, a Super Metroid Plus, a maybe a Super Mario RPG, I don't know. I got a Super Mario World Plus, a Super Duper Mario World, that uh, I'm going to be making uh, a few tutorial videos after I finish the, the, temporal, the main temp stream Temporal Flux videos that I wanted to, to accomplish. And um, we're almost halfway done with what I got recorded. We're almost halfway done with the, what, I, uh, what I wanted to do and cover. So that uh, you have plenty of stuff to derive from and you can't say like, Well, how do you do this? Well, watch the fucking video. Like, pretty much. Yeah. And let's do, let's just do the inverse of this. Um, I'm just going to paste this again. Now, I'm going to do subtract. Toss in a gill. You grab it, you're getting minusing one. If you have it, we can, I'm not putting it, well, we're putting it in. Fuck it. Inventory. Get gold amount. Oh, no, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. Oh. Gold. Hold on. Because there's a... Check inventory. Check gold. Amount. One. Make sure you lease out. If gold... Is greater than... Yeah. Yeah. Bling. Oh no, fuck it. We'll just put the sploosh down. We don't have to phonetically describe anything. Um, <laughs> could be like, make a wish. And it'll be like, in Legend of Zelda, like you get big trouble. Or, great luck. Haha, <laughs> we could do that. You know what I mean? I was kind of thinking about that when I when I came up with this. Tossed in one gill. Wish with all your... Yeah. Hey, ha ha! Uh, this swell motherfucker. I think that'll fit on the screen. Yeah, that should... That that should. That will work. Yep. Okay, oh, this needs to be autoed, I think. Yeah. Um, so basically, if you have it, otherwise, uh, guess. Because sometimes it's a pain in the ass. It's like, I don't want to do it. But I'm doing it. But I'm doing it. It's just one of those, I'm soldiering through it. It's just like, otherwise I'll never get it done. 
It's one of those. It's, it's one. Of, I procrastinated to the point where I gave up lethargy for sloth. So, and that's not a fun place to be. You don't have any gill, you poor bastard. If you could put that, that's kind of a like not. You know, that's a. Uh, that's technically a bastard. It's not a swear word. That's like you're just somebody that got born under certain circumstances. So I don't, I don't consider that an insult. It could be, but let's put you poor miserable wretch, like Bowser. Oh, 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 oh. you poor miserable wretch. Like, And I'm confident in that this is going to work also in, in formatting, so that's also part of the tutorial. Uh-oh. I think it just, like, I forgot to FF that shit. Yeah. Toss in more performance. Okay. Cool. Shit, that's fucking awesome. Now we have a file we can steal from and just like sit there all fucking day wasting time and somehow there's just infinite money we can get because we didn't really like we don't have like a variable that has how much money is in the fountain. I might do that shit. If I had the trial variable, I would probably do that. I'd probably because otherwise you're gonna sit there all day and then you're just fucking be able to buy one of those really expensive things at the fucking store in the fair that we added. And uh like that it just it, it could be a thing, you know, that could just be a feature of the game, but that kind of yeah. I don't condone it, but oh a five a and since fortunately we're at the bottom when we're doing this, it will be pretty close. So it's gonna skip that to there and then there. Yeah, cool. Okay, all right. Well, he's like, what is the point to this? Well, because it shows you cool fucking shit that we fucking can do in a motherfucking project. How about that shit? So, yeah. How about that shit? Um, okay, we fixed the map. I may as well export that. I was putting that off. There's a couple things I put off also that I can't remember what they are right now, which is just this rack in my brain. It's rack in my brain. God dang it. Fuck. Well, one of them is I wanted to have it so you can walk back here for some weird reason. So let's see that. I guess we'll go to the gamers down six. Oh yeah, I already have it set up to like do that. I just have to add an exit. It's at 1A20. I assume that we're going to be facing right, so... Can't remember how far down the map that is. I'm just going to put, like... Oh, look. Fuck it. Because we got to be, like... We got to be, like, lined up in this. I think. Let's just try... I want it so, like, he's not covered by the bushes. Like, you should be able to, like, at least partially see the character poking out somewhere um, so that you don't get, like, disoriented when you're moving through scenes. Like, two, 219. Let's just hope this works. I'm not going to move half a tile up or anything like that. Um, but I could go left. Yeah. And in this case, it's kind of like I should almost have moved those tents over, but I'm going to do is 1821. So it's kind of a little further. Sometimes I make my exits a little further. I try to keep it uniform. That's a good thing to go. That's a good thing to have as standards in your in your design, so that um, yeah, the bullshit that I've gone through 
does it ever happen to you? Don't let it happen to you. Save often. Definitely back that shit up. Uh, in fact, I should probably be doing that now. Um, and I think uh, I'm going to test this out real quick. And get out of here. Just, you served your purpose. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's sad. That's sad. It's sad and sadistic. But it's funny because it's true. Cat. That looked awful. And I'm stuck. Yay! I'm dancing hair in a bush. Okay, well, clearly, um, I think actually for this one, I need to do half a tile up. I think I actually have to do it. If I'm going to walk into such a thin, like, I'm glad this, is, this has come up because it's one of those things I just wanted to show as an example at one point, but... Yeah, it's the shit to watch out for. So that you're not getting a headache tearing out your brain or clawing the gods out of your head. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Uh-oh. Not so perfect. Okay. That just that side needs just a little bit of solidity work and um yeah, because we could have, like, something back there. I don't know that I'm going to even put there yet, but maybe, like, an NPC or something on this map. Yeah. Okay, so on this one, yeah, we're just going to fix that also by half a tile up. That should be that should be enough to appease my... Oh, my God. Got to make that bigger. I just I finally noticed that shit. Holy smokes. And location exits. They're all one. So tutorial two three. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. I think for now, that'll do. I don't want to just fuck around all day, but I did fix a couple of things that we that just seemed out of place. I didn't want to just leave it undone. Undone. And then now, yeah, we have this cute little thing we can go back and forth into and um, maybe add a treasure chest back there or, or whatever. Or whatever. And, uh, yeah, following this, coming out pretty much shortly after this video will be Tutorial 3. Check it out. You're gonna fucking love it. Donate. Pay us. Until then, 